tell you that what's in front of you is bigger than what's behind you. Your destiny, your promise, your future. You might as well shout before you get it. Because God sent me here to tell you that what he has for you is going to be big. That it's my season. That it's my season. You ought to declare that over your own life. Say, I believe. That I believe. That it's my time. That it's my time. It's my time. It's my time. It's my time. And I can feel it. And I can feel it. <laughs> Say, breakthroughs in the room. Breakthroughs in the room. It's yours if you want it. Anticipating. Anticipating. God's getting ready to move. God's getting ready to move. Listen, you ought to declare this over your own life. Say it. God, he's working a miracle just for me. And it's going to be. Hey, listen, I don't know about you, but I'm excited about my future. Why? It's going to be big. bring you greetings from the Mount Calvary Pentecostal Church, where our pastor is the Honorable Suffolk Bishop C. Sean Tyson and First Lady Krista Tyson. We thank God for them, a fine man and woman of God. I was thinking about them this week that they have a spotless record, uh, blemish-free, when most of the churches and pastors today have some kind of fault. I thank God that we have a pastor and First Lady that have clean hands, they live an impeccable lifestyle in front of the people of God, and we honor them. There's no other church in this world I would rather be at than here at Calvary. I thank God for my wife. She's a precious jewel. She's a gem. Thank God for a praying woman who has been by my side constantly praying with me. I give honor to Under Shepherd Smith and to the saints of the Most High God. We say praise the Lord. Let us look unto the Lord in prayer. Father, I ask of thee in the name of Jesus, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart, Lord God, be acceptable in thy sight. O Lord, my strength and my redeemer, I pray, Lord God, that I will decrease as you increase. Uh, we're going right in and out. I'm going to try to pour a quart into a pint so... Brother player here, we're going to uh, fly here in a second. Uh, my assignment today will be from Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. The Bible declares unto us, For the word of God is quick, is living, and powerful, and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder, which means into separate parts, of soul and spirit and of the joints and moral and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. I'm going to speak to you today for a few minutes in short. The power is in the word. The power is in the word. The Greeks knew it best that the definition of the word is rhema. Rhema is the utterance or the thing said. Now you need to remember that rhema, word means rhema. It is the utterance or the thing said. The Greeks also knew it as logos, which is the logic, it's the reason, it's the thought, it's the doctrine, it's the word of God. Aristotle and Plato, the Greeks of that time, they knew that. So whenever you speak of word, we're speaking of the utterance or the thing said. We're speaking of the logic of God, the reason. Jesus is the logic. He's the reason. He's the thought. He's the doctrine. He's the word of God. If you can go with me real quick to Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. A few scriptures I just like to highlight and point out where the Bible says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The Bible says, In the beginning, God. God created. The world was created by the word of God. As you quickly sift through Genesis, you'll see Genesis chapter 1 verse 3 says, And God said, Let there be light. 
And you see again in Genesis where God said, let there be a firmament in the midst of the waters and let it divide the waters from the waters. In Genesis again, you see, and God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together unto one place and let the dry land appear. In Genesis again, you see, and God said, let the earth bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind whose seed is in itself upon the earth, and it was so. In Genesis, once again, we see, and God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and for years. The Bible says, and God said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creatures that have life. I'm trying to get you to see everything God created was by a spoken word. It was the word of God that the worlds were framed. Genesis chapter 1 verse 24 says, And God said, Let the earth bring forth the living creatures after his kind. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26, the Bible says, And God said, Let us make man. But the thing about this, God didn't speak man into existence. God took his time to form man from the dirt of the ground. So we see here, even John picks it up. If you go to John chapter 1, Verses 1 through 5, John comes back and he repeats the scripture again over in Genesis 1 and 1 where it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and everything that was created was by the spoken Word of God. Today we're talking about the power is in the Word. John chapter 1 verse 2, the same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men, and the light shineth in darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. If you stay right there, Genesis chapter 1 verse 14, the Bible reads as thus, and the word was made flesh and dwelt among us and we beheld his glory the glory of the only begotten of the father full of grace and truth i remember in the scripture when jesus peter asked jesus and he said unto him Jesus, show us the Father, and it suffice of us. If you just let us see the Father, we'll be satisfied. And Jesus began to tell Peter, Peter, have you not been with me so long? Don't you know that when you see me, you see the Father? For I and the Father, we are one. Uh, saints, I thank God for the power that is in the word. Uh, the power is in the name of Jesus. Uh, I'm commanding every preacher, every apostle, every bishop, every pastor, every teacher, we've got to go back to the name of Jesus. Uh, we got to go back to the word of God. Uh, Jesus is the rhema. Jesus is the logos. Uh, I wonder if I can just testify for a minute, uh, uh, just for a few minutes. Uh, can I tell about God's grace? Uh, can I tell about God's goodness? Uh, God has been so good to me. Uh, it is the power of the word. Uh, or if you want to say it it is the power that is in Jesus' name uh, that has changed my life. Uh, I'm so glad uh, I'm apostolic. Uh, I'm so glad uh, that I've been filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, I thank God for the baptism uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, my mother used to tell me uh, growing up, uh, I really wasn't a bad kid at all. Uh, I went to school. Uh, I did my homework. Uh, I got the grades and everything else like that. Uh, I've never been in jail. Uh, I didn't sell drugs or do any of that. I, I was okay, pretty good. I, but I tell you one thing, I, I still needed to be saved. I, I still needed to be delivered. I, I still needed to be set free. Ah, God, I, I was sinking I, deep in sin, I, far from the peaceful shore. I, very deeply uh, stained within, uh, sinking to rise no more. But the master 
of the sea. Uh, he heard my despairing cry, and from the waters uh, he lifted me, uh, and now safe am I uh, when nothing else could help. Uh, love, uh, it lifted me uh, when nothing else could get me out of the grave that I was in. Uh, his love, uh, it lifted me. Uh, there is a fountain uh, filled with blood uh, drawn from Emmanuel's veins, uh, and sin plunge uh, beneath that flood uh, lose all their guilty stains uh, what 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 can wash away my sins uh, nothing but the blood of Jesus uh, what can uh, make me whole again uh, nothing but the blood of Jesus uh, I thank God uh, that Paul even picks it up uh, when he said and such were some of you uh, some of you used to be liars uh, some of you used to be cheaters uh, some of you used to be fornicators, uh, but now ye are washed. Uh, you are saved. Uh, you are sanctified. Uh, you are justified uh, by the blood of the Lamb. Uh, give God some praise. Uh, the power uh, is in the Word. Uh, the power is in Jesus. There's power uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, when you went with Peter, uh, Peter and John, uh, they were beat uh, for preaching the gospel. Uh, I understand, brothers and sisters. Uh, I understand his name, uh, Yahshua Hamashiach. Uh, I understand the Hebrew name. Uh, but your grandmama, uh, she used the name Jesus. Uh, she prayed in the name of Jesus. Uh, and you got healed. Uh, your mother, uh, she called on the name of Jesus. Uh, and you were delivered. Uh, and you were saved set free, huh? but today now huh? we say I ain't going to use that Greek name. Huh? God knows the name. Huh? There is no other name huh? under heaven huh? whereby we must uh, be saved. Huh? We must uh, be saved uh, at the name of Jesus. Huh? God has given him a name huh? that is above every name. Huh? His name is above Confucius. Huh? His name is above Allah. Huh? His name is above Mary. Huh? His name is the name above all names. There is no other name besides the name of Jesus. Put your hands together and give God some praise. Glory to God. I thank God for the power that is in his word. It is God's word that heals us, that delivers us, that sets us free. Hallelujah to God. I praise you, Jesus. I thank God for bringing me out of a life of sin. I needed him. I needed to be delivered. I needed to be made whole. I talked to a person the other day. They said, I don't need to be saved. I believe even one time President Donald Trump even said that. I don't need to be saved. Nothing's wrong with me. You need a savior. You need a deliverer. That word, Jesus, he pierces even to the dividing asunder. He separates soul and spirit. He gets down to the marrow of the bones, every fiber, every cell of your being, the word of God. It is quick. It is living. It is powerful. It is a two-edged sword. Hallelujah to God. The power. Is in the name of Jesus. And we have to go back to the name of Jesus. We got to go back to that name. Wherefore, we must be saved at that name. That's the only name given unto men. Whereby we must. It's a must. You must be baptized in Jesus' name. You must be filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Give God some praise. We praise you, Lord. God bless you.